There are 400,000 men on this beach. Nolan's um, Dunkirk has been dubbed a action thriller. For me it's uh, less of the action and a little bit of thriller which is about the evacuation and rescue of the British and Allied forces um, at Dunkirk. Ready on the stern line. What are you doing? You know where we're going. Into war George. Um, the, for me, I think I'm probably the only person that I've come across that hasn't enjoyed the movie. I've had arguments, debates, like the whole shebang. Some people are like, oh my God, it was the best war film in the world. It's the best thing I've ever seen. And the thing is, I get, I get it. I get that it wasn't supposed to be an action-packed, bloody war film. Um, and it was all about um, the silence in war and surviving war and the, the rescue part and just getting out of there to fight another day get that and for a lot of people who did like the movie I felt don't watch war films or are not a fan of war films so for them there was just like oh this is this is nice this is a nice change people's heads are not getting blown off and no one's getting shot this is lovely um but for someone who has always watch war films from a young age um they don't need to always be bloody for me they just need to have a solid character based storyline in order for me to engage and to feel like we're fighting this war together that's just in my opinion practically see it from here what home other negatives that i found was um i ended up playing where's wally basically Where's the black and other uh, other soldiers that supported <laughs> the uh, the British troops that were on that beach? And there was one one black French soldier once again disregarding and segregating and isolating groups of people um, and not showing them the respect and gratitude that it should be. There's no hiding from this sun. So, the cast. I felt like the cast, the dialogue, the context, the content of the cast was extremely starving for malnutrition, not being fleshed out. It was like, you, 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 go and scream and don't say much, don't do much. Just kind of, um, let's just see what happens. And there's like six lines, roll that through, you know, the two and a half hours, however long this bloody film was. Um, and because of that, myself as a viewer, I find it hard to kind of engage. And at times I liked the silence because it was awkward and scary, like it was it was creating that atmosphere. And then other times I started doing my shopping list as per usual, like when I'm bored, I started thinking, oh, I need to get some avocados, yawning. I was like, what? the hell is going on here so boring and I like like I said I love a bit of a war film I loved Fury you know Saving Private Ryan's one of my favorite films um Inglorious Bastards like come on so you see those and then you see this and it's like oh he used the special lens to film it I don't that doesn't I didn't ask if if you know Quinta Tarantino um used the special lens I didn't give a shit like it was a brilliant film to watch so with you know. Anyway, so for those reasons, um, I was bored out of my brain. I give uh, Dunkirk six out of ten. And feel free to tell me what I was missing. Feel free to tell me if you didn't like it as well. Um, but yeah, I'm not a fan, and I will not be watching it again. Um, and I can guarantee you, if you did watch it on the small screen at home on your TV, you won't last five minutes. Um, yeah. We shall fight on the beaches. We shall fight on the landing grounds. We shall never surrender. We shall never surrender. We shall never surrender. We shall never surrender.